What's good, y'all? It's JP, and y'all are now watching Odazine TV. Now, if you weren't doing music, what do you think you'd be doing at this moment? If I wasn't doing music, um, I, I really stopped going to school to do music. Like, I, I wanted to, you know, go to school and shit. I wanted to play sports. I don't know, just football just, I mean, like, I wanted to play football and shit. Rapping just happened. Like, you know, I wanted to do all kinds of shit. Describe your music using one word. Um, lit, like a vibe, like, I don't know, lit, just lit, that's the word. These questions are a little bit off from subject. Yeah. But can you tell me, if you can date any female entertainer or music artist, who will it be and why? Um, I'd date Rihanna, for real. If I could, you know. Uh, because she just untouchable, like niggas like can't get her. Like that's just the people that they Rihanna, the fans that they Rihanna, everybody that they Rihanna. What drew you to become a music artist? Um, well, I just always, you know, just wanted to be like you know superstar, famous, like you know, cool. That's really it, like. Who inspired you to become a musician? Um, my uncles, um, Lil Wayne. I really look up to Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, I just, you know, I like his his style. Like, not even his music wise, just how he come off as, a, as an artist. How did you come up with your name? Um, JP. Um, that's my real name. Like, my, my, well, like, my, it's my initials. Like, my first name. Joanne, my last name, Peyton. So I just put it together. And where are you from? I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. What part of New Orleans? I'm from the Seven World. Please explain your creative process. What is a day like for you in the studio? Um, the day in the studio, I mean, I just be in there vibing, high, just making hits. That's it. Do you write or freestyle the most? Um, uh, be real with you. I just, um, I don't freestyle, but I probably go in there and just like punch in, like just and just write, you know. After I just hear what I'm about to say, like you know, about to do, like that's really it. Huh? Being the hottest fuck. <laughs> do you have any upcoming projects? Uh, yeah, I'm dropping an EP soon. Next month, my birthday, uh, February 9th, but I probably dropped it before, uh, I don't know, but from now until February, I'm working on something. Do you currently have any music out now we should check out? Yeah, uh, I got Streets out right now. That's like one of my hottest songs right now. I know everybody rocking with that song. Um, and I got Relax. I got, I got a few songs out. I mean, you know, just type in JP, you gonna see me. Should we expect any features on this new project? Um, nah, I mean, I don't, I'm not really like, like into doing features, like, you know, just music with people, like, I mean, I would, but it's just not, I don't know, I like, my, I like myself, I just like doing music by myself. If there are any artists that you would get the chance to have a feature with, who would it be? Um, like big artists or local artists? You could explain both, actually. Um, like, um, I mean, I ain't really like, like looking forward to working on people. If it just happened, you know, it just come, like, it just happens, like. How well do you take constructive criticism? I mean, I don't really care what nobody say, like, I mean, I'm gonna still do me. I really don't be caring at all. <laughs> I really don't. Please discuss how you in interact with your fans and how do you respond to them on social media? I mean, I interact with everybody. I'm cool. I ain't one of them bougie ass rappers following zero people and shit. Like, I talk to everybody, you know? I try to. What is your favorite part about being an artist? Uh, my favorite part is just like getting in places, like just free VIP stamp. You know, just being that bitch, just going everywhere, just touring and shit. Like, Doing fun stuff, like I don't know, that's just that life, that rapper life. Now what is your least favorite part about this line of work? Having a like, I don't know, just, 
I don't know, like, I really don't have a least favorite part. Like, I mean, the only least favorite part is fucking trying to build your fan base, trying to get everybody up. Like, that's just, you know, just struggles come with that. But, you know, that's... Uh. Are there any other business ventures that you are trying to get into? Um, like modeling. Uh, I, I, I wanted to do modeling before I started rapping. Like, that was something I really was, like, you know, thinking about. But other than that, nah, not really. Have you ever dealt with performance anxiety? Uh, no. I be. What is your most memorable concert performance and why? My most memorable? Um, South by Southwest last year. I know I had everybody just fucking with me, everybody, you know, just going crazy. Uh, I had a few artists fucking with me out there, like big artists. And I was just, I had a lot of lit shows, you know, I had multiple lit shows. What is something that your fans wouldn't know about you from them watching you on social media? Uh, I mean, people be on my social media probably looking like he all uh, bougie and he fucking, he, he know, he, and he think he too much. I'm really like, I'm funny as fuck. Like, I, I just be active. Like, you gotta just see me in person. Like, the internet shit, that's just the app. Like, don't worry about that shit. Like, but I'm cool. I'm cool as a nigga for real. Do you feel like the Instagram and just social media all overall is a perception of what people are not today? Um, I mean, social media is social media. Like, it's just really just, I don't know. Like, it's just the app. Like, fuck. I don't be caring too much about that shit. Three years from now, where do you see your music career? Three years from now? Uh, um... If I just keep working and shit, just going hard, I'll be at the top, like, I see my shit number one on the charts and all that. Do you feel like you need to move out your city once your career has reached a certain milestone? Uh, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like, in the city, like, niggas be dying, like, just rappers die in the city. I ain't, mm -mm. Do you feel like your local DJs and radio stations can do a better job breaking all this music? Yeah, they could. I mean, like, they be playing the same shit, the same few artists. Like, I don't never hear my shit. Like, my shit hot. Like, people, are, you know, people fuck with my shit. I be, I be, you know, getting a lot of love from people outside the city, you know. But in the city, like, niggas just, it just, mm, they, they pick who they choose, you know. But I don't be tripping off it. They gonna have to see me one day. How do you feel about the artists in the city supporting one another? Do you think that we're doing a good job at that? Uh, it's starting to get there. You know, at first, everybody was just for themselves. You know, people getting there. What is the craziest thing that you have ever purchased that you wish you had? Mm. Shit. Fuck a bitch some. Some food? Fuck. <laughs> it's like a fun, but nah. Uh, I mean, I don't really have no regrets on buying shit. I just... Mm. Generally speaking, <laughs> are you good or bad when it comes to saving money? Uh, shit, I'm good when I want to. When I, I don't know. I be... I ain't gonna lie, I'm bad at that shit. I be forgetting. Like, I be forgetting. I'm, I'm bad at it. Shit. Describe your upbringing as a child, teenager. Tell me what was more impactful to your influence on music today. What was more impactful? I mean, more impactful. Like, I used to be a lot of. I used to be slept on a lot. Like, niggas weren't really like cool. You know, niggas weren't fucking with me. I don't know why. Like, motherfuckers used to just be just on whole shit, and that just made me want to just turn up on everybody. Just. Be that stuff, like niggas just look up to. That's what it just. That's the impact right there. Make make me go harder. What would you tell anyone looking to become an artist, as such as yourself? What would you tell them as advice? Uh, don't listen to nobody. Stay yourself. Cause people just be saying bullshit anyway. So just be yourself. How do you expect to influence the younger generation with your music? Um, I expect to just like show them that they could be 
that goat that they want to be. Like that all-star person, you know, superstar rapper that they want to be. Because that's all I'm trying to be. What should we look forward to in the year of 2020? Uh, from me? Um, you should look for a lot of lit shit because I'm finna just get super active. I'm trying to travel. Like, I'm trying to go fucking over the world. That's my 2020 goal overseas and turn up over there. Tell the people where they can find you on social media and other media platforms. Um, Y'all can find me on Twitter, JPayStar, J-P-A-Y. S T A R on Instagram, same thing, JP Star. And SoundCloud, you can find my music. JP, just type in JP, J P A Y on anywhere. Apple Music, YouTube, Spotify, Spotify. Go get that.